we are. Carolina. Carolina, you're you're part of the of the South Sudan team. Hey, that's right. Uh, my name is Carolina Greta. I work as a logistics officer in South Sudan. Uh, Fiona, unfortunately, she's uh, in another meeting with donors and she could not join. And no, well, that's fine. Also for the quality of the video. No, well, I mean, you, you've got a lot to deal with there, so that's fine. You, we can hear you now. I wonder whether you could just give us a, a, a little bit of the sense of the main things that you were t telling us in the video. I, I mentioned the, the need of cost reduction, reducing waste, um, and organizations requesting your services, and quite a lot of confusion. T t tell us more. Yeah, sure. So the key message we were trying to elaborate on during our 10 minute video, uh, we, we would like to stress uh, that uh, the logistics cluster in South Sudan has been for the past few years already pushing uh, through the new transport modalities, uh, river and road transport versus air. And that's uh, clearly linked to the cost reduction uh, we actually did uh, great cal calculations on this uh, and uh, well the donors were, were happy with that uh, obviously and uh, especially uh, in view of the uh, COVID uh, crisis uh, that brought uh, a lot of challenges including uh, donor fu funding being reduced we will uh, continuously um, advocate for partners to use uh, the new transport modalities. And what Fiona also mentioned during her presentation is that uh, the logistics cluster would not be able to do that without um, WFP's uh, strong expertise and experience in South Sudan. Uh, and basically our team, the logistics cluster, is uh, exploring the, this new tr transport modalities thanks to also uh, WFP. Because obviously one of the big issues you have in South Sudan is the infrastructure of the roads, very, very poor conditions. So that, that must be a big issue for you. Obviously, yes. Uh, there's been a lot of road rehabilitations ongoing, which are obviously uh, extremely difficult and slow uh, due to a very short uh, dry uh, season uh, window. Uh, sorry, uh, I don't know if you can hear. It's <laughs> okay. It's very much. Don't worry. You can, no. But um, so if what sort of uh, extra help would you need from partners if you if we're talking about trying to build up to a situation where there could be some sort of exit strategy, what sort of extra help would you need from partners? Well, our um, exit strategy planning is really around building the capacity of partners to basically deal with those logistics challenges as a community. And this is one we this is why we have launched uh, a pretty ambitious uh, training program uh, a few years ago. Uh, basically, uh, it was called Basic Logistics, uh, um, and now it's also available online to partners globally. And um, we were, this was also a big part of the presentation, just trying to, to emphasize that it's also the responsibility of uh, partner organizations to train and develop their staff. We have done a lot, including just basic weight and measures uh, training sessions that we have performed in our warehouses uh, across South Sudan. But we would like to stress that uh, there, there is a need for this capacity building by the organizations, by the partner organizations as well. And that would bring direct, direct efficiency for the whole logistics response in South Sudan.